Hi everybody! I am so excited today is going to feel so magical because we are enrolling in a magic academy. <gasps> in fact, Professor Anna is getting everything ready as we speak. Now, for today's class, you're going to need a couple items. We are going to be practicing Quidditch, which means that I need you to find a ball, an actual like playground size ball and a laundry basket. And if you happen to have a chair or a sofa, something that you can put that laundry basket on top of, that would be even better. Then we are going to practice with super giant magic wands. And by that I mean we're going to find a broomstick that we can use. You're going to have a broomstick, some paper balls, and a cup or bowl or anything you can turn on its side to be a little target to bring it in. Now, I hope you're ready because I think it's time to get started. I hear some bells ringing. Bells are ringing, bells are ringing, hear them chime, hear them chime. Calling all the children, calling all the wizards. It's gym class time, it's gym class time. Hello, my esteemed students. Professor Anna here with Magical Academy, and we are going to have a very magical day today indeed. Now, before we get started casting our spells and brewing our potions, I have a very special friend who I don't like to have fun without. His name is Professor Rompy, and he is going to be teaching us some magic as well. But I need your help. I need us to cast a spell to bring him out here. So everybody put your hands out to the side and go whoosh. Now we're going to rock side to side and sing. Oh, where, oh, where can Rompy be? Oh, where, oh, where can he be? With his big brown eyes. Let's point to our eyes. And his waggly tail. Oh, where, oh, where can he be? All right, my friends. Now it's time to cast that spell. And here's how it goes. We are going to count one, two, three. And then we're all going to chant, come out, Rompy, really loud so we can make sure the spell works, OK? Let's get started. One. Two, three, come out, Rompy! <gasps> Let's open up those curtains. Whoosh! And whoosh! <gasps> I think it worked! We got Rompy to come out with our spell, and now it is time for him to say hello. So we are all going to rock side to side and sing. Oh, here we are at romp and roll, at romp and roll, at romp and roll. Oh, here we are at romp and roll. Let's get our magic hands in front of us and wiggle our fingers and jiggle our fingers and say, get ready for some fun and fun with Samantha and fun with Miles and fun with James and fun with Kristoff and fun with Jonathan, and fun with Joshua, and fun with Kimberly, and fun with Wesley, and fun with Declan, and fun with Michaela, and fun with Chloe, and fun with Anthony, and fun with Ava, and fun with Max, and fun with Professor Anna, that's me. And fun with Professor Rompy. <laughs> ah, silly puppy. One more time, we're going to rock side to side and sing. Oh, here we are at romp and roll. Whoosh. Wiggle and jiggle and say, get ready for some fun. Perfect, my friends. And we are going to have so much fun fun today as I teach you some magic. Now, I have a magical backpack here and I want to see what's inside. But once again, we need to do a spell. So I need everybody to pat your legs all together like this. Good. 
and we're gonna say what's in the backpack what's in the backpack what's in the backpack let's all look let's look and see what's in our magical backpack oh my goodness it is an invitation we are all invited to go to a magical tea party together. How fun. Now we are going to be the guests and we're also going to be the teapots. So everybody get ready to shape shift into a teapot. In order to shape shift into a teapot, you need a handle and you need a spout, of course. And to be a very good teapot, you will need to go all the way to one side. Whoa to pour out all of that tea. You know what, let's all stand up. All right, I think you might know how this song goes. It goes, I'm a little teapot, short and stout. Here is my handle, here is my spout. When I get all steamed up, hear me shout. Whoa, tip me over and pour me out. I tipped my hat right off. Now. Let's try with our handle and our spout on the opposite sides. I'm a little teapot, short and stout. Here is my handle, here is my spout. When I get all steamed up, hear me shout. Whoa, tip me over and pour me out. Whew, being a teapot is hard work. I think I want to be a human again. I've done it, amazing. Now friends, it is time for us to stretch all of our magic muscles. I'd like my hat to be back on for this. And we are going to first pretend that we have a beautiful cape on just like I have here, as we know that any witch or wizard's wardrobe is not complete without a cape. So let's go all the way out like we're going whoosh with our cape. All the way out, big, big, big. And now let's pretend that we're doing an invisibility spell and we have to bring our cape in. Woo, can you see me? I bet you can't because I'm a very good wizard. Let's go out, whoosh, and disappear. And one more time, whoosh, and disappear. Did I do it? Did I do it? Can you see me? And whoosh, amazing. Wonderful, my magic has worked. Now for our next magical stretch. We need to get all the way to the other side of the roaring river to get to class. It's pretty dangerous to get to class sometimes when you go to a wizarding school. So we are going to have to hop on some stepping stones. First, let's practice hopping up and down on one magic stepping stone. Make sure you hold on to your hats. Now. We will hop one to another to get all the way to the other side of the river so we can go to magical calculus class. Quick. Oh, big steps. Big steps. Big steps. And hop. Hop, hop, hop. Whoa. And, you know, I actually just remembered I'm late for magical English class. Let's go all the way to the other side. Big step. Big step. Big step. And hop. I just like to hop on this stone. I find it very amusing. Now, for our last stretch, we have to make a big potion. So I need us to start walking slowly around our cauldron in a big circle. Oh, that potion's really brewing. Can we get a little faster? And a little faster. Whoa. Say double, double toil and trouble. Fire burn and cauldron bubble. Whoa, oh, I'd like my potion to go the other way. Other way, other way, other way, whoa, whoa, whoa. Hmm, let's taste it. It's delicious, you all did a wonderful job. Perfect, my friends. Woo, making potions is difficult work. But I am really excited because this year, I want you all to join me on the Quidditch team. And I think you can all make it if we just do a bit of practice. Let's all go to tryouts. Fly, fly. Now, to practice your Quidditch skills at home, all you need is a laundry basket or another basket like this and a ball for us to practice shooting those magical hoops. So I have conjured a chair. Whoosh. I will put my basket on said chair. 
and we are going to practice getting our Quidditch balls through the hoops. We can start pretty close. Nice. Oh, yeah. Quidditch team, here I come. And we can get a little farther away, too. Whoa. Two for two. Magical. Let's see. I'm going to get even farther. No. No. That's okay. Everybody makes mistakes sometimes. It's all about practice. Wow, I'm really overshooting it. I need some magical eyeglasses. Woo! Ooh, that gives me a good idea. If you have a bouncy ball at home, you may be able to bounce it from the floor into the basket. Let's try that. Ooh, very close. Nice! Yes, I made it! Perfect! We can practice going underhand as well with a big swoop. This one's fun because it's the most dramatic. Whoa, and also very powerful. I need a strap for my hat. Put that on my to-do list. Oh no, oh no. I'm too strong for my own good. Just keep practicing. Yes! I did it! Underhand! Perfect! Now, we can also try to go overhand. Be careful. It's pretty strong. Nice! I'm going to see how far away I can go. I'm going to get all the way back here and try to make my last basket. Nice! Perfect! Now for all of you following along at home, I think you did an amazing job. And I would definitely put you on this year's Quidditch team. Congratulations. Tryouts start sometime in the future. Now, whoa, what is this that I see poking about of the hedge? Let us see what it might be. Hmm, it just looks like a small little stick. Let's see if I can get it out. Whoa. Whoa, it's really stuck in there. Whoa. Okay, got a little out. Whoa. Whoa. Oh my goodness, it's pretty long. Whoa. Whoa. Oh my goodness, friends. Look at this. I think that I have just found the world's longest magic wand. Ooh, this would be so fun for casting spells. Whoosh. Ha ha. Whoosh. <laughs> now, this looks to be about the length of a broom handle. So if you have a big broom at home, we can turn it into a magic wand. And I want to cast some spells. I have a big bucket of spells right here. Now, target practice is very important when casting spells. You don't want to turn the wrong person into a frog. So I am going to set up my target on the ground and see if I can get my magic spells to the right target with my wand by tapping it like this. Now, it might take a few times, but I think that with some practice, we can be really good practitioners of magic. Boop. There, that one went in very gently. Let's see if I can get my magic spells to go a little bit farther with a little more force. Ooh, that one got pretty far. I hit my target, nice. Now remember, oh, what's this? I will vanish them from the target. Ooh, ooh, there's some magic going on down there. Ah, look at that. A magic spell right on top. Let me see if I can get it to go far, far away. One, two, three. <gasps> nice! I got it! And I didn't even hit my target. I would like you all to try that as well. It's very magical. All right. Ooh, ooh another one. One, two, Three. Nice! I got it again! Whoosh. Now it's on its side again. Magic. 
Let's see. For this one, I want to turn this cop into a cat. Meow. It meowed. It's a cat after all. Perfect. And once more, I'd like to see my range, just in case there's another wizard quite far away from me. Ooh. So I'm going to see if I Bippity boppity boop at you. Ha ha. Perfect, friends. That was really fun. We can cast spells like this all around our house. Just make sure our grown ups are around so we don't accidentally whack anybody with our very large magic wands. <laughs> or we can use shorter magic wands if we'd like. It's a bit more safe anyway. But I'll leave this here for now. Perhaps another witch or wizard will come by and decide they would like to do some practice. Now, Back to the hall, back to the hall, everybody single file. Hmm. Adjust my cape from that long day of magic making. Ah, thank you so much for joining me today, my friends. I had a wonderful time brewing up some fun with you. And now it is time to say goodbye. Oh, Rombi, you've appeared out of nowhere. Thank you, my friend. Ah, now. In order to say goodbye, we have to know where our magical hands are. Here they are. So let's take our little hands and go clap, 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 clap. Let's take our little hands and go clap, 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 clap. What about our feet? Let's take our little feet and go stomp, 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 stomp. Stomp, stomp, stomp. Let's take our little feet and go stomp, stomp, stomp. Stomp, stomp, stomp. Now let's take our little wands and go swish and flick. Swish and flick. Swish and flick. Let's take our little wands and go swish and flick. Swish, swish, flick. Now let's take our little hands and wave bye, bye, bye. Bye, 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 bye. Let's take our little hands and wave bye, bye, bye. We'll see you here next time. Goodbye, Cooper. Goodbye, Millie. Goodbye, James. We'll see you here next time. Goodbye, McKenna Grace. Goodbye, Luca. Goodbye, Shep. We'll see you here next time. Goodbye, Elizabeth. Goodbye, Claire. Goodbye, Elena. We'll see you here next time. Goodbye, Emma. Goodbye, Tristan. Goodbye, Aria. We'll see you here next time. Goodbye, Luke. Goodbye, Miles. Goodbye, professors Anna and Rompy. We'll see you here next time. Now, my friends, if you haven't heard about it yet, we have a very special offer for you guys on rompysclubhouse.com. We have membership options that allow you to take small group classes online with your instructors, like me or Mr. Daniel or Miss Allison or Miss Jenny. We would love to see you guys there. We also have some special art classes and bonus content that's really, really fun that we've been working on. So if you haven't already, go to rompysclubhouse.com and we'll see if we can get you guys signed up for the fun. Thanks guys, I'll see you next time.